How are you doing? Brendan Joyce, yeah? It's uh, John McDonough here. Listen, I made an old video to the day, and uh, he, was, uh, he was challenged out for the 12th of next month, um, October. Now, I was chatting to on the phone after that, and uh, the words you said to me was, Bernard, why are you carrying it on? And you see, Brendan, I have no choice but to carry it on because of the way you're carrying on on the phone. You rung my phone and uh, you were going on about uh, women and children and this, that, you know, which I have no right to do. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm very vexed about that, for the truth. And uh, you were on about other women and this, that, and the other, won't mention no names. Now, Brendan, as simple as this, here's what I'm going to say to you now, right? The fight is off. There is no fight. There's never going to be a fight. Because you, you little schoolboy, are too cowardly to fight, yeah? And the simple reason I know that is because when I was chatting to you the other day on the phone, you, you, the words you used to turn around and said to me, Brendan, you said, look, I'm going to bring a lot of big men into this. And I'm going to get a lot of big men down to you, John Bernard, and this, that, and the other, right? All right then, Brendan. You're afraid of your life, so you're mentioning other people, you're bringing other people's names into it, and, and you're threatening me with, with other people, and you're going on about women, and you're going on about children, and you're going on about this, that, and the other, yeah? Let me explain something to you, mate. You are a wanted man now, right? You brought the wrong people's names into a few things. I want you, I want your blood, right? I'll, I'll break your fucking face, mate. You're a wrong boy, yeah? You also, there's a few chaps after you, and I won't mention no names until you know yourself, yeah? With the things that's happened through the years. And you are getting a baiting from both sides, no matter where it is, right? You're going on saying that you're going to bait this one and bait that one, and you're going to snap my neck. There's my neck, right? But if I ever get a hold of you, the first thing I'm going to say to you is, grab my neck, snap it, like you said you would, right? And then what I'll do then, I'll fight you after that when you're finished trying to snap it. And I won't even put my hands up. I'll hold my hands like that while you're trying to snap it. And then after that, when you're finished trying to do that, then I'll have a few clouds with you, right? Now listen, simple as this. No fight. From now on, I'm not using them, right? And I'm very proud to use that in your face. I will, right? I'm going to be chatting to you in another little way, if you know what I mean, right? There's going to be something else happening. And I'm not the only one once here. There's a few people after you. Don't be losing no sleep now, little schoolboy up there. Remember one thing, you had your chance to step out fair and square and you wouldn't fucking take it, yeah? You're going on like a little woman up and down the roads. Uh, not a shoe tire that you are. Not, not a little boy, little Nancy boy that you are, yeah? Trainers, I'll throw your trainers over there and I'll bet you that with them. Yeah, what I'm saying to you is leave people out of it and have a fair old fucking go. But you wouldn't do that, would you? No, you had to go on and mention the people. So what I'm going to do now with your lurch is that when I see you up and down the road taking your old smack and whatever you're collecting your old washing machines, I'm going to pick one of them washing machines up and bait your brains out of it to your fucking schoolboy. So that's you now, no fight, it's off. When I see you, you're getting bet. And like I said before, and I'll stand to it, there's another couple of people wanting to give you a baiting as well, right? Good, goodbye, my little friend, and I'll see you soon, before you know it, little chap.